surging along the east coast of Africa, two of the world's swiftest, strongest currents, the Mozambique and Agulhas, connect warm equatorial waters to cooler water masses to the south. Their upwelling currents bring deep cold water to the surface and create some of the richest biological areas of the sea. From South Africa to Somalia, more than 11,000 species of marine plants and animals thrive along the western edge of the Indian Ocean. Sandy beaches provide nesting sites for about 70% of the world's marine turtles, leatherbacks, loggerheads, hawksbills, and greens. Coral reefs fringe the shore and the legendary offshore islands in a dazzling architecture of shape and color. The coral here comes in many sizes and textures, from smooth boulder corals, lettuce corals, great brain corals, and the elegant lines of staghorns. Various kinds of moray eels are at home in these structures. These graceful creatures have a second set of jaws in their throats to capture and hold their prey. The upwelling of currents can also bring to light exotic creatures from the deep. The Western Indian Ocean is home to a legendary creature, the coelacanth. Once thought to have died out with the dinosaurs, the capture of one of these fishes in 1938 sparked a debate among scientists about how the coelacanth fit into the evolution of animals. Its pair of lobed fins make it unlike other fish. An ocean that harbors such a living fossil probably has some other surprises. Yet the biggest surprise is that so little of the Western Indian Ocean has been explored. In part, exploration has lagged behind basic survival. Coastal communities have fished these waters for centuries using methods that have been passed down through the generations. Seaweed farming has also provided sustenance for communities near the shore and has allowed them to export this key ingredient to be used for foods, medicines, and cosmetics. But these practices have been overshadowed by large-scale commercial fishing operations, which have steadily depleted these waters of rich populations of fish. People are awakening to the needs of the Western Indian Ocean and are beginning to protect critical areas within this magical place. <laughs>